guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be talking about my tattoos i got a couple so if you don't like tattoos it's probably not the video for you but if you do like tattoos then keep watching all right guys so i think i got my first tattoo when i was about 15 i want to say 15 and i was so scared so i wanted to start off really small so her first thing was a little d trying to see if I don't put a picture of all my tattoos in here somewhere so don't worry about it so I got a little D right here this was my first one eee, you can't really see it but that was my first tattoo a little D because I was so nervous this thing cost me $50 y'all it was the shop's minimum so I had to pay $50 for this small little tattoo that's like whatever but yeah I was so nervous but I'm like okay my name start with a D Everybody in my family, well, my mamas and all her kids, we all start with D's. We're all D's. So I'm like, hmm, that'll always mean something. You know how you are with your first tattoo. You want to find any reason to get it. So I'm like, hmm, that's always going to mean something. So let's put a D on me. It makes sense, right? It makes perfect sense to put a D on me. Like I'm going to forget my name, right? Yeah. So small D is the first one, guys. Um, so that's when I was 15. My second one, I got a year later when I was 16 years old, and my siblings ended up getting the same thing as a matching tattoo. Uh, my brother has it, and my two siblings have it. And it says, my mother is my foundation. It says, my mother is my foundation. Pretty much, we love our mama, like, period. And I wanted to get a tattoo for her, and I didn't know what. So I was looking at, like, quotes and stuff, and I found this quote, and I thought it was so perfect. I'm like, I'm definitely getting that tattoo, period. It was like $200. Um, yeah, it was about $200. So she signed the paper for me to get it. I got it. Um, like I said, all my siblings have it. They have the same tattoo. But they have it in different forms. So one of my sister has it going down her spine. One of my sisters have it like, she has an arm piece and it's somewhere inside, like the quote. And then my brother has it gone across his chest. So we all have it in different ways, but we all have the same quote. So we together forever. We in this for life. P period. Oh, y'all like my nails, by the way? I put money in it. It's real money, y'all. It's only a dollar. That's how much is in my bank account anyway. Anyway. Okay. So for my third tattoo, it is my favorite tattoo. It is my spine tattoo. And I got this one when I was 17. I know y'all. Still wasn't legal to get tattoos yet. But I got this one when I was 17. They always done at a shop, by the way. Um, it starts at the top of my spine. Ends at the bottom of my spine. And I'm going to put a picture right here. Um, it says there is beauty in imperfection. So definitely wanted to get that. Because I just feel like, you know. You got to love yourself at the end of the day. It don't matter if your hair messed up. It don't matter how bad you feel about yourself. You better walk around like you are always a 10 out of 10. So I thought that was beautiful. I wanted it down my whole spine. Always wanted a spine tattoo. And I was like, okay, this is perfect. We're going to get it. And that was my least painful tattoo. I know. My spine was my least painful tattoo, y'all. Crazy. But it was about a 2 out of 10. It took about 2 hours to do. It was so... I could have done it 80 more times. I really could have. It was not that bad. I love that tattoo, y'all. It's my favorite one. I think it's so pretty. And, well, it's one of my favorite ones. Love it. Fourth tattoo was right here. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to put a picture right here. And let's see if you guys can see it. It is this one right here. It says, don't forget to smell the roses. And I kind of incorporated the D with it. So, pretty much what that means is like, uh, these triangles represent um, life. Like, the word they shape, they represent like life. I think it was life and something else. But I put the, made sure the rose was inside. I'm trying to explain this the best way I can, y'all. I made sure the rose was inside of life. So, it's like... Like, don't forget to, like, find the beauty in life, you know? Sometimes we can be so ungrateful. Like, I be in traffic sometimes. Like, oh, my God, traffic is so slow, blah, blah, blah. But then I'm like, I can be on a bus. 
Matter of fact, I could be walking right now. Like, I'm so thankful, like, that I got a car. I'm so thankful I got so much stuff. So thankful I can breathe. So it's like, don't forget to just stop and, like, smell the roses. Like, appreciate stuff. Stop complaining about every little thing. You know, just appreciate things. Every little thing that you think is small, somebody won't. And some things that you think is small, without them, you would notice how big it is. I promise. I promise. So, don't forget to smell the roses, y'all. I appreciate life. Period. So, my last one is my biggest one. This is my most recent one. And I'm going to put a clear picture right here. And this pretty much is a, okay, woman with the wolf hedges. Um, if you can see, there's a wolf right here. It's a forest like in the background. And then it's trees right here, wrapping around my arm. Um, look at them lips. Ooh, look at them lips, child. Yeah, and the lashes. Ooh, look at the lashes. This right here represents for me, me personally. I don't know the real meaning, but me personally. A, wolf, a woman in a wolf history is, is just like so bomb to me. I feel like it represents a woman that's going to do what she got to do to survive at the end of the day. If you put a woman in the freaking jungle and she gotta survive, she gonna cut that wolf's head off to wear as a scarf so she can stay warm. Like, that's just what it, like, it makes me feel like a woman that gotta do what she gotta do to survive. Like, I just love it so much. It just feels like a strong woman, like, period. So I'm like, I need that. I love that. I want that. And I finally got it. And I think he did such a great job with her face. And I love it so much. She just looks so strong. Like, listen, I'm in the woods. I had to, to fight this wolf. But period. I got to do what I got to do to survive. And that's just, that's just what it is, guys. Love it. That was very painful. Um, This was definitely like a 9 out of 10. Sometimes it was 11 out of 10. This part hurt the most. This part hurt the most. And then right here. This hurt a thousand times more than my spine tattoo, y'all. For real. That was, I don't even think I want no more tattoos after that. Because that was so painful. It really was. It really was. So that is my short um, about my tattoos video. I don't have too many. But those are the meanings. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have more videos. So make sure you subscribe if you like the video. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment. If you want to see me do something else particular, comment what you want. I'm going to be making so many more videos. So I hope you guys subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you for watching my video. And I'll see you on the next one.